I hope you all are doing fine. So let's start the new chapter, Reproduction in Plants. Are you people ready to start the chapter? Hmm? So you are going to learn in this chapter about reproduction from seeds, germination of seeds, reproduction by vegetative parts, structure of a seed, dispersal of seeds. Right? So get active, bacho. Hold the plant which you have brought and discuss its various parts and their functions with your partner. Okay? So, a variety of plants are found on the earth. You know that there are not many plants, but there are many plants. They include trees, shrubs, herbs, etc. Which you have studied about shrubs and herbs. The plants keep on increasing in number by the process of reproduction and reproduction in plants can occur in a number of ways. Most of the plants reproduce from seeds while some of them reproduce from other parts like leaves, stems, roots, pores, etc. So now I am going to start reproduction from seeds. Most of the plants grow from seeds and they are present inside fruits or vegetables. Seeds grow into seedling in the presence of water, air and sunlight. A new plant grows from the seedling. Only those seeds which get the right conditions can grow into the plants. And these right conditions are, ki kon si conditions so ni chahiye ki plant grow kar pai? Let's read. Seeds should be healthy as damaged seeds do not grow into new plants. Agar usme kuch bhi damage hua hai, to nai plant nahi grow paayenge. Seeds should be sown in the right type of soil and get minerals from it. And seeds should right, get right amount of water, air, light and warmth. Ye sab chijay bhoat jaroori hai bachcha growth ke liye plant ki. Activity time, name new fruits and also mention if the fruit has one or many seeds present in it. Now structure of a seed, a seed has many parts, right? The seed coat is the outer hard covering that protects the seed and the baby plant inside it. It has a tiny opening called micropyle through which the seeds get water and inside the seed coat, the seed lives of cotyledons can be seen. They contain the stored food for the developing baby plant called an embryo. Some seeds like maize, wheat and rice have one cotyledon and these are, you know, these are called monocotyledons. Some seeds like maize, wheat and rice have one cotyledon and they are called monocotyledons. And some seeds like gram, pea and pumpkin have two cotyledons. They are called decotyledons. Okay. Knowledge capsule. Flowers are reproductive organs of plants and most flowers turn into fruits which have seeds. These seeds can be used again to grow new plants. Germination of seeds. When a seed gets all the favorable conditions, as you have read the conditions, kya honi chahiye? है ना उनके फेवर में क्या कंडीशन होनी चाहिए उनकी जमीनेशन के लिए इट ग्रोज इनटू न्यू प्लांट दिस प्रोसेस सो फॉर सीड टर्निंग इनटू अ न्यू प्लांट इज कॉल्ड जमीनेशन कंडीशंस नेसेसरी फॉर जमीनेशन इट वाटर शुड बी देयर वॉम्थ शुड बी देयर आई मीन सनलाइट ड्यूरिंग जमीनेशन सीड हैज टू ग्रो थ्रू अ नंबर ऑफ स्टेजेस अंडर सम कंडीशंस एंड दीज आर एज फॉलोज a seed sown in the soil gets warmth, air, light and water. The seed coat breaks and a baby plant emerges and it grows small roots. The roots grow further down and a small shoot develops above. As the roots and the shoot grow in size, leaves appear and the cotyledons shrink and eventually fall off. Knowledge capsule. Some seeds germinate better in full light while others require darkness to germinate. Now, it's the inactivity time, bachcho. Aim to show germination depends upon water, air and warmth, I mean sunlight. Method, take three bean seeds, mark them as seed A, B and C. Tie them at different levels. 
as you can see in the picture on a glass plate as shown in the figure put the plate in the bean seeds inclined inside a beaker half filled with water or two or three days the plate should be placed in a in such a way that the seed fixed in the middle remains half immersed in water observation you will notice that only seed b germinates because it gets air water and warmth seed a does not germinate as it does not get air seed c doesn't germinate as it does not get water conclusion we conclude that air water and warmth i mean sunlight are the factors on which germination depend ye teeno cheeze jab tak nahi hongi tab tak seed germination possible nahi hai right so dispersal of seeds dispersal is the process of carrying seeds away from the parent plant and seeds are scattered in different ways by various external agents they are called agents of dispersal there are various agents of dispersal like wind water animals and explosion in order to prevent overpopulation of plants at one place it is important to disperse seeds dispersal by wind some seeds are very light and have special features like wings or hair these features enable them to be easily carried away by wind over long distances हवा उनको अपने साथ उड़ा कर ले जाती है ना फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉटन सीड्स और मेपल सीड्स डेंडलियन सीड्स एक्सेट्रा राइट सो एक तो आपने हवा के द्वारा डिस्पर्जल देखा अब दूसरे डिस्पर्जल आप देखेंगे थ्रू वॉटर राइट डिस्पर्जल बाय वॉटर सीड और फ्रूट्स और सम प्लांट्स हैव फ्लोटिंग फीचर्स दैट हेल्प दैम टू फ्लोट ऑन वॉटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल spongy part of lotus fruit and fibrous outer covering of a coconut plant enable them to float on water unhe pani ke upar behne ke liye help karta hai so now brain booster name two plants whose seeds are also dispersed by water aap koi aise do plant aur sochiye jinke seeds disperse hote hain pani ke dwara hmm now the third point is ha these are also being dispersed by dispersed by you know animals and human beings how animals and human beings eat fleshy fruits and throw away their you know they throw away their seeds in different places sometimes birds and animals swallow seeds with the fruit pulp these undigested seeds then come out as their faces far away from the parent plant so bachcho some seeds have sticky hair bristles hooks or spines they get stick to the fur of animals or on the clothing of human beings logo ke kapdo ke sath chipak jate hain ya fir animals ki fur ke sath chipak jate hain and transported to different places jahan jahan wo jate hain wahan wahan wo bhi chhat saath mein chale jate hain for example cockle bird seeds you know and uh, mistletoe berries and pupalia seeds right dispersal by explosion some fruits like pea and balsam burst open or explode when they are uh, they ripen and these seeds pop out and get scattered far away from the mother plant for example peas peanut beans lady finger castor etc brain booster what will happen if the seed if seeds do not get dispersed a kya hota hai agar ye disperse na ho to right reproduction of vegetative parts plants sometimes arise from the body parts of their parent plants root stem and leaf are the vegetative parts of the plant they can reproduce new members of the plants and this process is known as vegetative propagation let us learn about it reproduction from roots a new plant can also grow from the roots of the mother plant jo main plant hai uske through bhi grow hota hai aap picture mein dekh rahe ho na hmm these roots contain small buds from which new plants grow a piece of the roots 
along with the birds is cut and planted in the soil. Under suitable conditions, these birds develop roots and shoot, forming a whole new um, plant and roots of turnip, carrot, sweet, potatoes, dahlia, beetroot, etc. can grow into new plants when they get appropriate conditions to germinate. Reproductions from the stems. Some plants can grow from stems. A piece of stem carrying birds from the mother plant is cut and planted in the soil. This is called stem cutting. Each stem then grows into a new plant, for example, sugar cane, hibiscus, and rose plant. Some underground stems have small birds on them. When they are planted in the soil, new shoots grow out from the birds, for example, potato and ginger. Aap dekh rahe ho? New, new, uh, aap, uh, uski roots bahar nikal rahe hai. Hai na? Potato mein bhi aap ne dekha? Jab thoda time aap rakh dete ho, to usme se new roots bahar a jati hai. Hmm? Reproduction from leaves and spores. Leaves of certain plants produce buds along their margins and new plants grow from these leaves if sown in moist soil. For example, bryophyllum leaves and some non-flowering plants like moles, mushrooms and fern produce spores instead of flowers. They reproduce by spores under favorable conditions. The spores are dispersed by wind. Each spore can grow into a new plant. Let's take a knowledge capsule. Reproduction via spore formation is quick right now let's have a look on word bank reproduction the process by which a living organism is able to reproduce more of its own kind seed coat the outer covering of a seed that protects the internal parts of the seed embryo the part of the seed that develops into a new plant seed dispersal the process by which seeds are scattered away from the parent plants by agents like wind, water, birds, animals and self-explosion. Propagation, a form of reproduction in plants in which a bird grows at a glance. If you have read the chapter carefully and you want to recall everything, let's have a look on summary of the chapter at a glance. Plants reproduce mainly from seeds or from other parts like spores, leaves, roots and stems. A seed has three main parts, seed coat, cotyledons and embryo. The process of changing a seed into seedling is called germination. Wind, water, animals and explosions are the agents of dispersing seeds. New plants can also grow from other parts like stem, roots and leaves. So, bacho, these summary points will help you in doing the exercises properly, right? So, tell me, have you ever planted seeds of any fruits or vegetables in the soil? Did you do that? Hmm? Okay, now evaluation time, bacho. This OMR sheet is given and what you have to do, you know, you have to choose the correct answer. Bacho, if you have read the chapter carefully, you will be able to answer properly, right? So, the first example I take for you, the dash is a baby plant. In me se aapko batana hai, koon sa baby plant ka correct option hai. Likewise, aap saare points uthayenge aur us me se koon si correct option aapko dikhai deti hai, you will fill that correct option. Right, bacho? So, aapki chapter knowledge yahi aap check kar sakte hai ki aapne kitne achche se chapter ko suna hai. Right? So, now fill in the blanks, bacho. These fill in the blanks, you have to complete the sentence by writing a word or two words, right? For example, water, air and warmth are needed for. Yaad hai, aapko aapne chapter mein padha tha ki ye sab chije aapko jarurat hai kis chij ke liye? Yaad hai? Germination ke liye. To aise hi aapko in lines ko padna hai aur kya aap lik sakte hai in ke liye? Aap usko chapter mein se nikalenge aur yaha par fill karenge, right? Okay? So now proceed to the next C part. What you have to do in this question, you have to write either one line, two line or three lines to uh, complete the answer. For example, in first one you have to describe the structure of a seed. Means 
एक स्ट्रक्च सीड का एक डायग्राम आपको बनाना है कि सीड्स के क्या पार्ट्स हैं आपके चैप्टर में भी आपको डायग्राम दिया हुआ है और उसे लेबलिंग भी करनी है बच्चा उस डायग्राम को लेबल भी करना है स्ट्रक्चर बना के उस डायग्राम को आप लेबल भी करेंगे आई आई मीन उनके नाम भी लिखेंगे राइट लाइक वाइज यू हैव टू डू ऑल द क्वेश्चन लाइक जर्मिनेशन आपको बताना है कंडीशंस बतानी है जो नेसेसरी हैं जर्मिनेशन के लिए डिस्पर्सल कैसे होता है सीड्स का राइट वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन के मैथड क्या हैं ओके सो लेट एस थिंक वाई द प्लांट्स इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द प्लांट्स and create collect different types of seeds you observe in your daily life and paste them in your scrapbook let us keep uh, let us speak about consider yourself as farmer and write down the steps you would keep in mind to grow a healthy crop and while doing these activities have fun bachcho